have with us Mr. B R B Sushil Kumar of the government of Telangana. Uh, Mr. Kumar, thank you for speaking with us. Yeah. Now uh, you had this whole session of policies in the mining sector, and you know everybody has come to the conclusion that so far it has been very reactive. Uh, can you tell us uh, what what steps are you taking in your government so that the policy that is upcoming, the mining policy, is now, uh, you know, uh, forward-looking and not fully really reactive to what has happened in the past. Right. Actually, the policy which has been prepared in 2015 have taken five years since then. I think the basing on the results that have been arrived at through auction policy, definitely we will have to revise and rethink about the policy, how it has to be really amended. And National Mineral Policy 2019 has come up which really have to be again put forth before the stakeholders and the state government. So there will be a better policy and better rules that can be made as against MMD and Act 2015. That is fair, sir. And, and uh, in our government, I cannot really come out because the minor mineral policy, which is now to be laid down by Telangana government, is yet to be released by the Legislative Assembly. So the present policy in the Telangana for minor minerals is first come first serve and then overlooking priority basing on the uh, technical and financial abilities that minor will have. Like sir, yeah. um, I just want to understand for my for, for my sake sir, yeah. if the government has a policy of auctions, yeah. how can your uh, state decide to go in for first come first serve? Yeah. Uh, what minerals are you looking uh, to do this uh, this procedure? Uh, are there uh, other central government policies and your uh, your policies in concurrence with each other? No, uh, I think uh, I should have really divided both the minerals. Mm -hmm. The major minerals, the government of India would prepare the policy. Mm -hmm. So the major minerals are industrial minerals, mm -hmm. and they are only through auction. Mm -hmm. Minor minerals which are there, we call it as building materials. Mm -hmm like road metal, sand and also granite and other things. So they are in our I mean, uh, sector, state government sector, where we can pay, prepare the policy on our, on on our own uh, uh, self because the government of India gave a section 15 wherein the state governments are empowered to make rules for minor minerals. But sir, how can this dichotomy be there? You the central government hmm. for X type of minerals yeah. has an auction policy. The yeah. state government, your state government specifically, right. has another policy of first come first serve for another set of uh, yeah. uh, minerals. Uh, I, I, uh, where is the long term vision of what is the objective on how the mining sector has to move ahead when for different mines or different types of products you have different policies in your state? Right. So, we will come back to again the auction policy as you are rightly pointed out which has been released by Government of India. I think Government of India has to relook the MMD and Direct 2015 which is having only the auction as the policy for grant of uh, major minerals. I think I was giving also in my speech stating that the central government has to have a committee to go around the, uh, the other countries, mineral rich countries to have best of the policies having a mix match of the auction first come first serve and also the policy to grant in the private lands and the forest areas and the tribal areas. I think you should have the different policies for different areas of things that has to be really uh, kept in mind by the policy makers in Government of India. Mr. And Kumar, do you think that your policy of first come first serve for no. particular kind of, which you are proposing, no. right? No, okay. no, proposing is something different. Okay. Which is there as of now is a old policy that we are continuing. In the new policy, we are trying to have the different uh, elements of like what exactly I told in the beginning with regard to tribal area, what should be, if at all the mineral is there in a tribal area, what should be the mode of grant? If at all it is in a private land, what should be the mode of grant? Suppose a particular person is coming up with a, an industry. So there can be a reservation also for that so that the mining industry would come because of his investment. And you can't have one method of grant because, see, the government of India also is going for auctions only for the bulk minerals, like the iron ore, the iron bauxite, the uh, coal, and also the limestone. So strategic minerals which are there for diamond and gold and other things, definitely if you can't prove a mineral with exploration to the last ton, definitely auction process would fail. Because, because 
because the entrepreneur who is who will be getting with a vague analysis of exploration of a particular reserve or a particular strategic mineral leave alone the bauxite and other things gold and diamond if you take nobody can prove to the last carat and last ton so then suppose if you have a, a vague uh, uh, figure of 300 tons of gold we have but definitely it could not have been a right thing because as we understand from up they said that gsi could not prove but nowadays they are telling it is 3000 tons so that they have explored ha huh. that is also distracting yeah. so what you are speaking of yeah. is of policy that has imbibed in it yeah. a degree of flexibility for different areas difference in rules etc does this leave the door open for uh, i mean is it shutting the door for transparency could this be no. questioned no if you know could there be any charge of favoritism coming in in uh, allocation of these mines which was the reason why the supreme court gave a uh, cancel those gold mines and we have a new auction system of going ahead yeah that was also addressed by me during my speech because of 2g scam and coal scam there are two judgments of supreme court one judgment was the government of india should frame the rules or act that can be granted that is natural resources shall be granted only through auction policy that was one judgment of supreme court but there was another judgment of supreme court also stating that all natural resources need not only be through auction it can be through transparent manner but here in the mineral sector see mineral mining which is there and the minerals which are occurring naturally over a period of million millions of years they don't have any bounds they don't have geographical bounds they don't have the tribal areas forest areas which are coming up they are just existing there so the man can what we have as we have the analysis prop issue suppose the area is in government land some some mineral is there in government land definitely you go in for auction process evaluate that particular mineral to the last ton which can be evaluated otherwise you have another policy of suppose strategic minerals like diamond and gold is there then you have reconnaissance permit for a particular thing so that fda would come then the foreign companies would really explore the diamond and gold in, in a technical manner and then have a similar process for that that means rp pl and ml so that the fda would come and the exact tonnage of gold or diamond carats were uh, evaluated and then the mining would continue whereas uh, with the same person okay. because he has done the rp reconnaissance uh, survey and then he is going in for detailed prospecting and then he will go in for mining yeah definitely and then if you really go in for a bulk thing suppose limestone bauxite which are auction being auction now yeah. definitely there also what we are doing is we are just putting the mineral on auction not exactly taking in account the what category of land that is there as i was pointing out government land it is delineated fix that particular government land only for auctions right. and evaluate for that government land but if there are forest lands if there are uh, tribal lands if there are private lands then you have a different policy because land acquisition exactly. if an entrepreneur is not able to if he is left alone for his clearances of all these land acquisition and other things for a particular mineral which is lying in government land private lands tribal lands and forest land that clearance would not come out Started. Yeah, so, so you have to have state, different. Yeah. So in your state, have you started mapping? Do you yeah. have a grid? Do you have go no go sectors, areas that you have already defined? Yeah, we we actually started with the geo coordinates, which are to be taken up for both mine minerals, that is building building materials, and also major minerals for all mining leases and quarry leases, which are around three three thousand two hundred leases. So once that is done. we are also having an exploration uh, planning for the extended areas so they can be mapped and then have a 500 meters distance or 800 meters distance by having discussions with mine safety department and also pollution control board so that in that radius no other alienation would be there except for the mining purpose right so for uh, minerals like coal and iron ore some central government has stated that they will be auctions yeah. many private <clears throat> companies that are bidding for these auctions then also say once the bidding is done you know the clearances take so much time that is because you know all the three parties the private player the, the central government and the state government 
they are not working with each each other to uh, clear the uh, clearances they say the clearances take too time too much time so how can they be better coordination so that you know uh, the time taken for clearance is cut down actually the auction itself uh, should have pre clearances of all these things because whether it is land acquisition because you are not delineating the private land government land forest land and tribal land which can be together in a particular mineral deposit so all these clearances along with the ec clearances environment clearances have to be obtained by the governments itself prior to go in for a bidding what we are doing is we are demarcating an area some estimation of the resource and then we are going for auction knockdown bidder is taking and then we are collecting that 0.5% of the uh, mineral value with the state government and he is left alone for all these clearances it's not going to work it's not right see we are penalizing the entrepreneur who is coming up for this thing and one more thing as i was also telling about the percentage of the uh, bidding that is there if somebody is crossing over 100% of the bidding i think that is not viable that's why they will also not go for clearances they will just delay process by will be done by the bidders and thems for what purpose sir because they cannot after some periods uh, suppose if it is uh, nullified and the bidding uh, bidding thing also get cancelled so he will again wait for a policy that will be made whether it is again through auction or again through some other process all right thank you so much right. sir thank you